So we're going to be making a necklace today out of old jewellery. I've got a lot of jewellery, like a whole bag of jewellery that I don't wear. So I figured I might as well use what I've got and create something new. This is a pendant that I bought. It's kind of vintagey looking. It's got like uh, beads on the outside, but then it's got like, yeah, it's quite pretty though. Um, so I bought some cord just some black cord which I'm going to double up um, I've also got some wire just some normal silver wire this is to go through the cord so it, it kind of creates you know like a circle that kind of circle motion um, of the big like cord necklaces so first what I'm going to do is wire around the cord so you need to measure up some wire and you need to measure up your cord what I'm going to do is do two pieces of cord, so one is longer than the other, just slightly longer than the other, because one is going to come lower and then one is going to come higher. So you need to make sure you have that that um, little, you know, extension. Okay, so now we're going to wrap the wire around the cord, but before you do that, you need to make sure you've tacked your cord at all end ends. Otherwise, your cord is going to start to come apart. Like, you can see that that one's come apart, but it's easy because you can just fix that at the end. Um, I've already cut my wire. Make sure you're cutting your wire, I'd say, about that much longer than your rope is because you're going to wrap around it. So, your wire is going to need to be longer than your rope. Um... So basically what you're going to need to do is just, you can separate your rope like this. It's usually, cord is usually made by three pieces and it's just like twirled around each other. So if you just slide your wire through the hole and you just fold it round like that. For now we're going to fix that at the end. So you're going to fold it round like that. You can see it's just folded around your wire. And basically, we're going to use these guides. You can see that your that your cord wraps around and it just keeps on looping like that. So we're just going to follow the cord with the wire. You can see I'm just going to show you of me wrapping the wire around. So if you open up the material, well the cord, and then you wrap it around, and if you just keep doing that, it'll just kind of fall into place. You just you just need to slot it in. And that's literally all it is. It's very simple. And this is only just because it gives it some strength and, you know, you can push it and, and pull it and, you know, it'll stay in place. And that's, um, that's how they're done. You can even apply this to, like, jackets and cuffs and... You know, any sort of thing, you create a brooch, like a flower with it. It's very, very simple. I've got both cords. They've both got wire in them. You can see that they're really ugly poking out of the end. So, um, yeah, basically what I'm going to do is using wire wrapping, which I will show you what that is. Um, I'm going to wire wrap parts of this together so it fits on your neck as one. Um, and then we'll be, be adding the vintage pendant at the end. So basically all you want to do is lay it side by side. That's kind of tucked together. So we're going to do probably about six parts on this rope. Um, yeah, I'd say about six. So you're going to have parts in between the... That, that are going to bag but that that's the whole style I guess. We've banded them all together you can see they have like little gaps in there but that doesn't really make a difference because it gives it quite quite a nice effect but they've all just been bounded uh, with wire and um, so that creates quite quite a nice effect so you can see when it's on it's quite it's quite structured. Okay so to do the pendant I'm just going to wrap some wire around the front of this just so it matches like our bounding material and the, the look of the necklace. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to cut a piece of wire, it doesn't matter how long it is, just give yourself a bit, bit of room. So I've just done that and I folded it in half just so we can wrap it around. So I'm just going to pop it on like so. 
can get it through that gap. Typically. So, <laughs> so that's on like there. And then all you want to do is hold this one piece if you can. You can do it while holding it. And then just wrap this one piece round that way. And basically with your pliers, you're just going to pull that tight by holding the underneath. So the wire can just be thread, thread through. I'm pulling it tight like that. And then what I'm going to do is just wrap that round so you can see. That it's starting to bound around the around the clasp, so um, yeah, just gives you just matching the uh, the look of the necklace. So you're just gonna keep doing that, and I'm actually gonna go over the hole. Um, I have actually run out of wire, so make your wire longer than mine was because I didn't really prepare myself for this. But we're just going to use the other end, so if you just loop that up like that, just so it comes at the right level, make sure you're squashing it all together as well. And it's very tight, you can squash it together just by pulling up and pulling that together. And just make sure it's pulled tight so you can see that it's kind of bound and it gives quite a, a similar look to that. All you need to do is turn that round that one very neatly, pop it underneath. So, uh, basically that is it. I bounded the edges and just kind of created a loop there. Um, I mean, the binding is okay and I just attached this little clasp here. For the pendant, as you see, I wrapped around the top of the pendant and then through the pendant, uh, through the pendant with some wire and then just wire wrapped again but it does give a really I think because you can see as well um, it does give a really nice feel for it I think there's a nicer way we could probably bind this um, maybe try some glue or you know put material over it and, and stitch it might be a better way and then you know add the, the uh, clasp on the end but I think I think that might be a better way just so it looks more you know neat and you know nicer and no one's going to look at the back of your neck but that's not the point there's no point making something out of what you already have if it's not going to be to a good quality I'll be making different stuff yeah as I said I'll be making another necklace um, which should be quite interesting because the pendant is actually something completely different to a pendant anyway so so that should be quite fun but for that one I will focus on finding another binding because you know the the rope necklace the cord necklace so very nice you know this was very simple more or less um here all I did because obviously you can see that there there are holes here also I thought this was quite nice you know you could you could mess around with this you could um you could just do the what I did minus the pendant and put some big beads on the end of here. That might be quite nice. But for this, I liked it quite closed because it needs to be quite plain because the pendant is so uh, like out there. Um, but yeah, all I've used for that is wire wrapping. So that's just wrapped wrapped around there. And I'm the type of person who likes to wear um Let's wear something no one's got. I mean, no one's going to have this because you made it. So um, that's more important to me than, you know, going out and someone wearing <laughs> exactly what you're wearing. It's like the worst embarrassing thing for a woman. So, yeah, so no one's going to have this um, except for, obviously, you and me. If you make it, it's very unlikely you're going to have the same pendant that I do. So there's so many things you could do with this. You you could use mix wire, like get some textured wire, um, you know, get some diamantes, put it on the rope. But yeah, that's only my main critique on this. Um, and I'll be critiquing my own work. If you had any critique, it's great stuff. So it's all about recycling your 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 already 
stuff you've already got but you want to make it into something different and the rope necklaces are big in at the moment I like to wear shirts but I like to wear them right buttoned up like a bit of a nerd <laughs> so and then I think this you just have to when you put it on just kind of sort it out if it's fastened with a with a shirt you know with a nice shirt that's gonna look really nice because it's gonna come out of the bottom it's like a, when you've got a little bow tie on that kind of shines through so yeah well that's it for today but um i'll see you soon bye